Hello everybody, welcome back to another video by Dissociated. We've been getting a lot of requests for makeup tutorials, so here we go. I'm gonna start with a primer. This is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Now I don't usually use primers, so I don't actually know if this is gonna work or not, but we'll give it a go. I've been trying soap brows for the last couple of days, so this doesn't have any product on it except for soap. I haven't filled in my brows or anything. It's just to stick it up and make them look a little bit fluffy, because inside my brows are a lot fluffier and it helps me feel a bit more masculine when my eyebrows look fluffier so let me know whether this is a yay or a nay because I'm still going back and forth on whether I like it or not I'm gonna fill them in later as well don't worry a little fluffier than usual okay next we've got the NARS natural radiant longwear foundation this is in the second lightest shade this is Oslo Hello, voiceover Kaya here. I'm gonna be giving you extra information through this video about what I'm doing with my makeup and also answering some questions about DID that you guys sent out to us. That way this video can be both informative and beauty related. When you're using foundation, you're just gonna to wanna to apply it evenly all over your face. Some products work better with your hands and the heat from your hands, like this one, which is why I'm using my hands. That was uh, Mara getting close to the front there. You can also use sponges or brushes, whichever works best for you. As we move through this video, you're gonna notice my voice starts to change. That is because other alters get close to the front. Two alters being close to the front means they're co-conscious usually. Dip brow pomade in ash brown. This isn't the case for all DID systems but it is for ours that when certain alters get closer to or further away from the front they tend to have different voices. They'll use the voice box of the body differently, limited by the capabilities of the voice box itself. Something I've never used before, the Anastasia Stick Contour and Highlight. It's in the shade Fawn. Listen for Mango's tiny meow in a minute. <laughs> I can't wait out there baby! Okay, I'm gonna warm this up on the back of my hand and then use a brush to apply it. Warming up a solid product on the back of your hand before applying it to your face can help make it a little bit more blendable, easier to work with, and just warms it up before you try and apply it over other makeup, which makes it less likely to end up being cakey or separating or pulling what's already sitting as a layered product on your face. Another DID question, does having DID make it difficult or impossible to work? This will vary from system to system, just like no two people with depression will be the same. Some people may be able to work very well with their depression, other people may be unable to work and have to go on unemployment, or benefits because it's too much. Other people with depression might be much more high functioning. DID is an incredibly complex and can be extremely dysregulating just to exist with it. But that doesn't mean that there aren't systems who are doctors, lawyers, very, very high level workers in our society. I know scholars, I know politicians, I know therapists, all who have DID and work very, very successfully with great careers. We can do a powder blush, which is a similar color. I want to do the putty blush. No, I don't. No. Nope. Let's try this one. I prefer to work with powder products after I've put on creams or liquids because it prevents pilling. You can layer, but it's easier not to. Light hand, because this is more pigmented than I realized. I've had this for years and years and years and years. Another question, is DID and multiple personality disorder the same thing? Yes. MPD, multiple personality disorder, was renamed as DID in 1994 to better represent what the disorder actually is. It's a dissociative disorder, not a personality disorder. Make sure you bring it up over the temple. And I also bring it up under my eyebrow. And a little bit over the nose, but not much. In the last couple of minutes is when Mary and Mara have been getting closer to front, as you'll see in a second. <laughs> Tuesday, like what you're doing, babe, let me take you shopping. I'm a little busy. You treat me so well. Anything for my favorite lady. Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. You just let me know that I can pick up a Mercedes. <laughs> Very Nina, this song. <laughs> and I have a tester of Hollywood Flawless Filter to try. I'm gonna use it actually as a highlight because I know it's supposed to be glowy. Ooh, ooh, that's nice. That looks nice and natural. We have noticed a difference in makeup trends, whereas it used to be a couple of years ago the big thing to have really sparkly, vibrant highlighters. Now it's more about the healthy looking skin, natural glows, so more of a sheer sheen than sparkles is generally more in. That's nice. It's not really a highlight. It just gives a little bit of a sheen back to the skin where the sun would hit it. I'm also gonna pop it under my eyebrows. When applying highlight, you're gonna to want to apply it where the sun would naturally hit it and there'd be a reflection of that light off of your skin. Bit on the nose. So that would be just under and around the eyebrows, on the tip of your nose and the bridge of your nose, your cheekbones, and sometimes people do it on the cupid's bow of their lips or even very edge of their chin and forehead. It depends how glowy you like to look. 
little bit in the inner corners just for a little bit of glow and also it might make a little base for our eyeshadow. I'm going to use the eyebrow pomade as an eyeliner, so a nice brown eyeliner. Using brown eyeliner is a lot less harsh than black eyeliner. We see it a lot in softer looks like doyin type looks. Just following the line up towards where my eyebrow will end and connecting it back up in a little triangle. It doesn't have to be perfect, this is just sketching out a line for us to go over basically. To get the line nice and sharp, we like to use a hard angled brush similar to the one that we would use to do eyebrows because it's easy to make very sharp lines. Okay, and now this is gonna be smoky, so we're gonna gently diffuse the line. So it's more diffused on this side, we're gonna diffuse it a bit more on this side. This will help it blend into eyeshadow better and be less of a harsh line. I'm just gonna set our base down with some spray. Why? Kaya was probably hearing Mary. We're both here right now too. I'm using the Modern Renaissance palette. Again, this is ancient. The OG, a classic. We're gonna take the darkest shade, which is Cypress Umber, which is a sort of mid to dark brown. Pack that over the lid. You can be as messy as you want with this because it's gonna be blended out. You just wanna get as much color payoff as you can. Don't go too high, just the lid. A question we might expect to get on this video would be why does certain alters front or come closer to front when certain activities are happening? So for example, it's Kaya and Mary right now, and Mary, my role is to do things that help the body relax that we enjoy that are often creative and things to help us be calm and centered. And it doesn't have to be neat because we're going to blend this out. Leave your inner corner though. Okay, now we're going to take a fluffy brush. We're going to take a lighter shade. So let's do let's do warm taupe very lightly, which incidentally is the same color as the contour stick I have. Start to blend those colors together upwards. And you can blend that right up into the crease and towards your brow bone. We see makeup as a kind of art and it's really helpful for calming and repetitive motion. You're going to also want to take that underneath your eyelashes. Another question, before you were diagnosed, did Chloe, who was the host at the time, know that she was an alter in a system? No, she had no idea. Some DRD systems figure out they're a system and then seek help and therapy. For us, it was the other way around. We didn't know until we'd been told or it'd been suggested to us by therapists. And then there was a big period of denial. And then eventually we did end up getting a diagnosis. Okay, and now we're gonna go back in and darken that again, just again, the lid area, but gently and blend it out with the taupe. So now I'm going to use Cypress Umber again, that darker shade, blend out from there. I've got the Nikki Tutorials X Beauty Bay palette, the first one. Silvery brown shimmer called Underground. And we're going to do that just on the very ball of the eye. This part is the wow factor of the look in my opinion and also it is so hot. We're right in a heat wave right now and it's making us really blendy and really, really switchy because all of us are incredibly uncomfortable in the front. And we're going to use that same shade in the inner corner. Switches can be caused by a whole host of different things, same as with blendiness where multiple alters are in the front and you can't really tell who's who and you feel kind of like a blendy soup. We've heard people describe it as a soup, but here is one example. Physical stimuli, physical discomfort can cause alters to switch. And then a tiny, weeny, tiniest bit under the eyebrow. This is tying the eye makeup into the rest of the face by using eyeshadow as a highlight. The brush that we did our blush with Gonna take some all in and use that as a highlighter. <laughs> I said earlier that it wasn't really part of the trend right now with makeup to use sparkly highlights and stuff like that, but makeup is art. You can do whatever you want with it. If that's what you wanna do, do it. Yes, very nice. Brown under the eye. It's that cypress umber again. Do right under the eye with it. Press. Oh yeah. Don't worry, we're gonna blend it out, but for now just press. Pressing or pressing and dragging a pigment is going to give you a better color payoff. You can blend out later. Warm taupe again. Smoky. Now it's up to you whether you want to add black eyeliner or not. It depends how harsh and dark you want this to look. I'm kind of liking the softer. Like it's dark, it's smoky, but it's not like black and really intense. So I'm going to leave it like that and add some eyelashes. And the only eyelashes I've ever worn have been Lola's lashes. This isn't sponsored or anything like that. And I've got some new ones. So the lashes that I bought, most of them are half lashes because that's the lash that I seem to like to wear as Kaya. So let's try these ones out. They're called Clio. They look like this. Please ignore the makeup all over our fingers. We do wash it off at the end, don't worry. <laughs> Applying lashes can take a little bit of practice. It's easier to start off with magnetic lashes first and then move on to strip lashes, or at least it was for us. We use the black duo glue. 
And we're gonna connect that to our real lashes by using mascara. Mascara will help blend your real lashes into the false lashes and will also give it some extra staying power. It's not gonna move if you connected them. This is what we've got at the minute. And then lip stuff. We're just gonna do a nude. A nude lip goes well with anything. It can help balance out a dramatic eye rather than pulling attention to multiple areas of the face and all of it being really intense. Having a nude lip can help keep the focus on the eyes if you've got a big eye makeup look going on. Also, it takes us a while to do this because we have a small mouth, so we have to be really precise. Too big a movement with the wand is gonna make us look like drag makeup instead of daytime makeup. Drag makeup is a beautiful type of artistry, but not what we were going for today. And that's how to do a very simple smoky brown eye. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out our other videos if you want to learn more about dissociative identity disorder or mental health or trauma related disorders or PTSD or structural dissociation or any of those things. Please subscribe and like and ring the bell so that you get notified when we make more videos. Stay safe, look after yourselves, know that you are worthy and cared about and important and somebody is glad that you exist. Lots of love everybody. Bye.